Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol INSY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of resistance and support easier to see. I did this analysis on Monday. So that is where these red and green line annotations are coming from. And a very, very nice move. It's kind of hard to see given the gap down that throws off the proportions. But if I do this, you'll see that, you know, from where it started on the day and, you know, skyrocketed all the way up there, that was, uh, you know, a very nice move. Um, I was I was a little bit late. I think I alerted this to the chat room on the the dollar break. So it was right around a dollar two. But even from a dollar two all the way up there to you know the the dollar fifty ish mark, definitely a, a great overall sign of power and strength. So now it just becomes a, a matter of okay, there's no doubt about it. You know anybody with uh, you know any rational person would say yeah, the price has definitely made a nice move from where it was here to where it closed right there. Sure, the price did pull back, but still, relatively speaking, from where the price now currently is. Compared to where it was, that's been a very nice move. But that does lead to the valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea. But like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping out that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all comes back to you know this level right here that I talked about on Monday. And this update is just based on a foundational rule in charting stating when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. And especially in this case, why is this area so important? Well, I'm not saying this is what's going to occur, but if the price were to come down to the dollar eight ish area and then break through it and continue on down at that point, from a very literal perspective, you would literally have the price right back to where it was before the nice bounce happened today. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulled back here and then behaved in this manner before it's starting to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this scenario? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down there. If you envision each of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm just defining and quantifying progress again as a dollar eight. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, it's just all back to the red line that I talked about there. I had a dollar forty-five from Monday, so keep a close eye on that. But overall, nice bounce. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon it? We will see. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you want to call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.